Hello. We are here with the finished product. We have everything is finished and we are going to plate it. So first I'm going to show you what everything looks like. Um, and then I will show you how I put it together and plate it. So the first thing we have are our tortillas. If you, I made these yesterday. You've got to be real careful to take them out in time. If they get do get a little bit crisp, you can put them in like a Ziploc bag. Leave them sit out, um, especially if there's any moisture in the air. It'll help soften them a little bit. If they get too crisp, you're probably not going to get them uh, pliable again. You can. Uh, I, do, I didn't have it yesterday, so I didn't use it, but you can put um, psyllium husk, ground psyllium husk, in the recipe, and it will help with the pliability of the tortillas. So these are our um, tortillas. Can you see it? Um, here is our Spanish rice. Here is our ground beef. That's going to go inside the enchiladas. Here are our refried beans. These are so good. I cannot stop eating those. Here is the red enchilada sauce. And I purposely have it on the thicker side. Here is our green enchilada sauce. And here is our nacho cheese. So, I am going to go ahead and put this together. I'm going to make him uh, two red and two green enchiladas. So, we will go ahead and start with the red. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a little bit of the sauce in here. Then, I'm going to put the meat. Can you see this or are these bowls in the way? Then I am going to put some of the nacho cheese. He likes stuff to be real cheesy. And so I'm going to put that like that. Now I'm going to roll it like you would roll an enchilada. So let's put that there. There's one of his red. I'm gonna put the other, make the other one exactly the same. Okay, we're gonna roll that, scoot that right next to it. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to, and you can make this red sauce thinner if you prefer. I think that it turned out pretty good, so I'm leaving it like that. Regal was always more of a green enchilada person, and so that's why I don't want to put, overload the red sauce. And then I'm going to put the cheese all on top. Okay. Oh, you know what I need is um, olives. Open, the, open this can of olives for me, Ariel. Now I am going to do the same I'm going to go through the same um, scenario, but with the with the green sauce instead of red for his green enchiladas. And yeah, we're still putting the cheese in. rolled up. Start with some green sauce. 
Put in some meat. Add some cheese. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to put green sauce on top. You probably do not want, you probably want to put this together right when they're getting ready to eat it and that's what I'm doing because otherwise being that it's not baked, the tortilla will probably get soggy, I would think. So you want to put it together just as, just when you're getting ready to um, eat it. So we will put the cheese sauce on top. And then I will put rice. On this side, I'll put some refried beans. On this side, want to come off the spoon. These beans are so good. Now I'll probably drizzle a little bit of cheese across the beans because I always like cheese on my beans. Now what I'm going to do is probably I'm going to cut up a few um, olives, cut up maybe a little bit of red onion, and some tomato and I'm gonna put that right on top and then we will show you the actual final plate of his enchilada meal so all right here is our final product this is our raw enchiladas we have red enchiladas green enchiladas Spanish rice and refried beans and now we'll see how Rigo likes it Okay, here's Rigo and he is going to taste. It's good. What are you going to go for? This is red, green, rice, and beans. Okay. So I think I'm going to try the red first. for bite tube of the red. That's good. That's good? That's good. Let me try the green now. Huh? The Give green's a little bit spicier. Yeah, let me get a little bit of this. This is the beans here, right? Beans, yeah. Nice. Those are good beans, Those huh? Those are good beans. <laughs> now this rice looks different from the last time we made rice. Yeah. It makes me want to try some uh, Asian fried rice. That's good. More rice. So the only thing you have left to try is the green. Yeah. All right. Feel that kick at the end? Yeah. And it's a little spicy. Oh yeah. I feel that. Mm. That's good. Alright, that's his birthday dinner. Pretty soon that plate will be all gone. Wow. <laughs>